Hi, I'm John Mark Comer with Practicing the Way in Portland, Oregon. The verse for the day is James chapter 4, verse 7, and it's beautiful. Listen to it. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submit to God or surrender to God and resist. Do the exact opposite. Do not surrender to the devil. Now, James, just like a lot of the New Testament writers, will often refer back to a story in the four Gospels about Jesus or the Old Testament in just kind of a one-sentence summary. Think of this as the ancient version of a hyperlink to something, a whole other rabbit trail. In this one verse, submit to God, resist the devil, he will flee from you. James is most likely kind of hyperlinking or referring back to the story of Jesus and the temptation in the wilderness in Matthew 4 and also in the Gospel of Luke, where Jesus is led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And in the same way as followers of Jesus, there are seasons and days and moments when we are tempted by the devil or demonic evil itself. What do we do in those moments? We follow the example of Jesus, our rabbi and our Lord. We submit to God and we resist. Think of the story of Jesus in the wilderness. Did he pull out a sword and fight Satan like he's in a Marvel movie and he's Thor or whatever? No, did he rail and rage? Not at all. He just quietly stood there, quoted scripture back to counteract Satan's lies and just stood in the grace of God to resist the devil. In the same way, in moments of temptation, if today or in the coming days or the week ahead, you are tempted by evil, by the devil himself, or by sin, you don't need to rage or scream or fight. You just need to surrender and yield your deepest heart and will to God and resist, stand firm against the evil one.